Hi guys, welcome to CA Final SCMPE Self Paced Paper. We are doing all the MCQs that are possible. The chapter that we all have today is Strategic Performance Management. Now, in this chapter, there are various things, but the MCQ that we all are doing today is of Pareto analysis. So, Pareto analysis, I've already explained, it was a concept made by Wilfredo Pareto who one day realized 80% of the world's wealth is there with 20% of people. He started to apply the same thing to business also. So he told one general rule, 80% of the output from any company is because of 20% of the input. So therefore, this 20% is very important because it leads to 80% of the output. And then when the explanation started, he applied Pareto analysis to five areas. But to be very honest, it can be applicable to anything today. Giving you those five areas which are there in the module first, 80% of the revenue is because of 20% of the products. So therefore, these products are very important. 80% of the profits is because of 20% of the customers. Only handful of customers give you 80% of the profits. So ensure that you give best of the service to these customers. Then 80% of all the cost is because of 20% of the activity. So therefore, if you want to control your cost, if you want your profit to rise because of a lower cost, control the cost of these 20% activities. Automatically, 80% of the cost will start to get controlled. 80% of the entire value of the stocks is because of 20% reasons or 20% of the items of the stocks. So therefore, ensure that these 20% of the stocks are controlled properly because they constitute around 80% of the total value of the stock. In fact, this entire thing was there in form of category A, category B and category C in your material costing in CA inter. And then you have the last one, 80% of all the defects are because of 20% of the reasons in any product. So therefore, if you rectify these 20% reasons, if you remove these 20% reasons, automatically 80% of all the defects will start to get rectified. Few other places where it can be applied is that 80% of the output in any company it will be because of 20% of the employees. It could be the CEO, it could be the CFOs up and so on. These people are most important and that is why like you know these guys get the highest payment also. 80% of all the doubts in our class are usually asked by 20% of the students. You must have noticed that thing in CA Inter also. And one personal thing that I've told in past also and that thing is 80% of all my fights with my wife is because of 20% of the reasons that I'm wearing slippers inside, not keeping the towel at a proper place, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now, how true this is in real life, if you will think, we all have heard of every company. We all have heard of this company a lot, Apple company, right? Now, this company manufactures so many products, whatever is there on the screen. These are all the products that Apple has made it till now. Okay. Obviously, let's cut out all those products which are not made now. Okay. Like say old Macintosh, few computers that were made. Let's cancel out. But even those products which are made now, do you think that Tim Cook actually monitors and takes a decision about all the products? No. He only takes the decisions about those products which are most valuable to the company. Those products which give them approximately 80% of the revenue and 80% of the profits. Those products are most important. Obviously, in that iPhone will be the first one. Because iPhone is something that contributes maximum to Apple's uh, revenue and profit. So therefore, that product is most important. So therefore, every decision regarding iPhone, what should be the selling price, what offers to give, what should be the packing, what should be coming along with iPhone, where, where, what, what pricing will be there, <coughs> where to manufacture it in China or in India now. Okay. Do you think so? He'll be spending sleepless nights on what is the sales of this mouse? across the entire world no because the sales that this mouse will be giving will not be even 0.01% of apple's revenue so why to waste the time of the top management so basically your pareto analysis gives you that top management should concentrate on vital few things because these are around 80% important okay these are few things but give you 80% profits 80% revenue these are vital few things that give you all the returns. So concentrate on these things. Top management doesn't have time to concentrate on every small damn little thing. So therefore Pareto analysis tells that where should the time of top management be spent? Let's do today's question. Which one needed to be responded first? 
विच वन नीड टू बी रिस्पॉन्डेड फर्स्ट इन परेटो एनालिसिस ओके गिव मी द फोर ऑप्शन ट्रिव्यूल मेनी मीन स्मॉल थिंग्स मेनी ओके बी वाइटल फ्यू सी बोथ एंड डी नन ऑफ दी अब थिंक ऑफ द आंसर आई हैव ऑलरेडी आंसर दैट इन माई डिस्कशन टूडे Okay, you should have commented in case you have not. Please pause the video over here, comment, and then re-continue. So obviously the answer is going to be vital. Few top management cannot concentrate on A and B both. Means they will concentrate on every damn little thing. Okay, and that will waste their time. They should only concentrate on things which are most important. So therefore, answer over here should be B. That should be the correct answer. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Thank you guys uh we are taking good efforts to ensure that all your mcqs and everything is answered your course is being done in a proper way everything that is there in the modules is being done in the course that we are giving for scmpe we are trying to have all our perfect answers which will match with the module but then there is a consistent way of thinking and answering that if you do that only then you will be able to answer any strange questions else it might not be possible i'll see you all next time with another mcq bye take care